So Twig obviously was a, a tough defeat at the hands of Adelaide yesterday. Um, just a game where we were beating around the midfield a little bit. Um, let's talk about how the, how the performance in your eye saw it. You saw it. Yeah, we got beaten all over the ground, Joe, and it was pretty evident from early in the game that there was an intent from Adelaide that was superior to ours, and that was concerning early that they were able to win some good ball round contests, and when they won it, they surged forward really strongly and had a lot of space to operate in. So that was a concern for us, and we weren't able to reel it back at any stage, unfortunately. And it, it does start around the middle of the ground. There's no doubt we had some stresses in the middle of the ground at centre bounce, which put us under some pressure, and I thought our backs especially early, saved a lot of goals for us. Uh, they were defending a lot of inside 50s, but the, the game up to three-quarter time was incredibly disappointing, and I felt the last quarter the guys were able to show a bit more what our capability is, and you can argue that the game's run and done, but uh, at least there was some spirit and some fight back there in the last quarter. Yeah, definitely. I thought that the Crows had a lot of numbers in, in key areas. You know, when we were going forward, they had a few spares down there, and they were just able to, you know, have more more players um, available when they when they had the ball ball in hand. I mean, how does that happen? Is that is that a the way the Crows set up, or is that more of a the way we were playing and, and uh, you know our structure itself? No, it's an interesting point. That generally, when you're getting beaten the way that we were, it feels like there's more players on the ground for the opposition, yeah. and part of it was to to do with. When they attacked us, they dispossessed us, and then they were able to run from those situations. I don't think we defended with the same level of intent that we have throughout the whole season. But we can see generally 60 points on average a game. We can see 117 yesterday, and so that means a lot's gone wrong defensively. But equally, all phases overlap into each other. We didn't get anything going offensively, which then gave Adelaide better looks back the other way. Our contest wasn't as strong, and we didn't defend the ground. So that's how it can happen. It certainly wasn't a structural. Um, request or a strategy to allow the opposition to have more numbers is when you've got all, some little things just out of whack, it ends up impacting the whole the ground and also the, the fundamental game style and what you want to achieve. I thought generally throughout the year, we don't usually can see many goals from teams coming through the middle of the ground. And I thought the Crows a couple of times yesterday got out um, from their back half and then through the middle and um, were able to kick some crucial goals. I mean, what does that come down to a bit as well? Uh, it's an accurate assessment. I felt the ground looked vulnerable yep. in the middle of the ground and when it looked odd because it's not what we usually allow. Mm. And it's, that's why it's a fair observation that, that we go into a contest, we weren't able to win or neutralise that contest, they win that one, then they stream through the middle of the ground, means that we haven't made good decisions once that ball's left the area. So something that we train a lot, something I like think we've been recognised for. You don't fluke being number one defensive team with points against through the season. Um, it's not done by chance. And it showed that we were a little bit better out of whack in that phase of our game yesterday. I thought the Crows tried and, and probably did well in exit and you know nullifying Boyd a little bit um you know what was your out you know look at that you, was it was it a bit of a blend between him and Sermon or you know what was the the go with that there yeah I think Strawn's a yeah. high quality ruckman I think we all admit that and, and Harold and Luke have had some good battles with him especially the second time um I thought we were able to have good impact in the game last time and then Kieran obviously had his impact yesterday and uh, it does make a difference when uh, rucks are able to get their hands on it, and that's something we've been really strong at all year. Probably Kieran had the ascendancy, especially at centre bounce at times. Uh, so it was an area of stress for us throughout the day. I think Boyd has been exceptional for us all year, and I still think he competed hard, probably just got beaten by Strawn in the day, and Luke didn't have the same impact at the ruck that we usually expect from him either. You know, you, it seemed weird, but it, you know, the game at half time was only 26 points. So we we're clearly in the game, even though we probably weren't playing our best football. And then third quarter, Adelaide really get a run on kick seven goals to one. I mean, what was the message at half time? And then was it disappointing that it just didn't come to fruition in that third term? I think people who were watching the game would have felt the first 10 minutes of the third quarter, we actually had some reasonable mm. looks and we weren't able to maintain possession of the ball with a couple of poor kicks and when that happened it was ripping back the other way and that's where teams can get deflated quite quickly. Um, I think it was 16 minute mark, the margin was still only 26, 28 points and that blew out to 50 at three quarter time. That's right. It would have felt unattainable for our players at three quarter time and uh, we reset about what we wanted to achieve in the last quarter and I think for portions of it it looked far more like an awkward game than it had done for the first three quarters. Um, obviously, there's always going to be speculation about bringing players back, and uh, none Roker and Panos played. You know, uh, Rokes led the way, had a really good uh, numbers uh, with disposals. How do you think they, the trio returned uh, to yesterday? Oh, we selected them based upon how they trained mm. and the conditioning they'd had based upon their individual injuries. It wasn't a grouping of all three. We just needed back for a final. It was yep. very measured. Um, yeah, the game had its challenges full stop for all players rather than just our returning players, Cotter included, amongst that four. So, uh, we'll. 
whether we played them this week and waited for another week yep. of training, it was going to be that effect of coming off a, a longer term injury of playing finals footy, which is a challenge. So, um, yeah, the, each individual will be able to talk through how it felt for them physically and, and their performance, but I don't think that we would say that the performance of the whole team was based upon bringing players in who hadn't been playing much mm. in recent times. Yeah, definitely. And just lastly, Twig, um, obviously a couple of so back-to-back -back defeats now. Um, heading into a game against Glenelg, you know, do or die clash uh, in a semi-final. What, what's the messaging kind of, you know, heading into the game this Saturday, uh, this Sunday? I'll take my time to work that one out, Joe, <laughs> considering we're fresh from yesterday. But, yeah, yeah we We've been consistent in reflecting mm. reflecting on what's just happened. Let's stay in the now, yep. work out what's real, what we need to train, what we need to review, and what we need, who we need to select. And there's not going to be a knee-jerk reaction. Yep. There's not going to be something that's worked pretty well. We're not going to change mm. how we play. There's Our work, way works. It's why we've got to where we've got to. But it's just about to be better in areas that we're usually good at. And there's a level of intensity that can come with finals. And I think we'd agree that Adelaide played at a level that's quite exceptional yesterday, but it's part of it they created and it's part of what the opposition allows them to do. So we just gotta be clear, be objective with what, what's real, what's gonna help us get the outcome we need against Glenelg on Sunday. Appreciate your time, Twig. Thank you, Joe.